Hello everyone, this is going to be my review for the HGUC MSN 001A1 Delta Plus in the uh, Inner Space Clear version. Uh, let me just take a look at the box first before I show you the kit. Um, as you can see, this is the theatrical release. I think there was also an online exclusive version. This was the version sold at the cinema at the time of episode 4, I believe, because this was, as you can see, 2011. Um, this kit I picked up online, or not, sorry, not online, at a used hobby shop in Japan. Well, of course, the kit ex itself was brand new, it just had been previously owned. One interesting thing about this box art is that the Delta Plus is not actually shown on the box on the front of the box anyway at all. It's kind of strange, very unique. Probably there's not many um, kits where that's the case. But this is just the poster for episode 4. Oh, yeah, I think it was. Anyway, the side... The side has the kit. Here it is. The inner space clear. There's the regular kit and information about the Delta Plus. This kit is sold for... Let's see what it is. Um, it doesn't say. Uh, maybe because of the theatrical release. I've never noticed that, but yeah. There's no price there. Here we're just seeing the front box art. The kit again. Other HGUC kits there. Up to the Jesta. Same on the top. And then in the box... Aside from the kit, of course this is going to have the standard um, Delta Plus manual for the regular kit. There's nothing extra about the clear version except the fact that it's clear. Uh, some pictures there. Of course this tran uh, transforms into a Wave Rider mode. Uh, I haven't transformed mine. I'm not going to transform it. I'm not going to display it in Wave Rider mode, so I didn't really even bother. Um, even cutting those parts out, as I'll show you in a minute. But um, the manual has everything about how to transform it. And um, other reviewers have shown it. I'll put links to their videos down below. Uh, as you can see, we've got just extra parts for the transformed shoulder armor there. Uh, transformed foot armor. The chest, kind of the torso section, that part too, for the cockpit hatch. Um, the uh, crotch armor there for the transformed mode. Kind of the main body of the transformed mode is in this silver. This is a, this part and the kind of cream white, which there's only a few pieces of, are the only parts that are not clear. There is this runner of silver parts as well. And got uh, one beam saber, actually two. One I've got here in the hand already. A beam saber hand and beam saber there, and then another beam saber, but only one handle, so not really much point of that. Some foil stickers I haven't used. I'll just throw those away. That's that. Okay, so since I already showed you the beam saber blade, so I'll go ahead and talk about the accessories for this kit. Aside from the one beam saber holding hand, which would be the uh, right hand, there's also two closed fists. One's already on the left hand there, it's with the closed fist and a closed fist for the right hand. And then a trigger finger hand, which is holding the beam rifle there. Uh, so it's basically for the left hand, all you have is the closed fist and then three different hands for the right. Um, which is okay, uh, unless you wanted to hold the beam saber in there. You might be able to just drill out the inside of the hand there with a pin vise. might be pretty simple. Uh, but as you can see, the other accessories would just be the shield, which uh, I've got some decals on. Again, all of the decals on this kit are all from Samuel Decal. Um, so I've got some decals there on the back of the shield. 
You see the inside of the shield has got like the missiles there and the beam gun. Uh, some more decals. I've got the delta marking there on the shoulder, on the side of the leg. Here, let me hold that. The side of the leg and on the side of the wings. There's the on this side. I've got the delta marking and the EFSF logo there and Anaheim Electronics on the wing. Uh, this kit is really shiny. It's hard to see it and because it's light colored. And then this side, let's see, got the Delta logo again there and then the Nehel Argama kind of ship. There, there's also a couple of Londo Bell mm, things here. And maybe another one. And on this leg, there's the Wave Rider mode kind of stick um, decal there. So um, a lot of all, all, all the decals are white. There's quite a few on there, but I think because of the light color of the plastic, they really aren't like taking over when you look at the kit. The only ones that like really stand out right away are obviously going to be the ones here on the darker color on the chest. So like as I mentioned. Before everything is just in clear, we've basically got this light purplish clear and then this dark, so like really dark blue clear, just the silver, uh, like a dark silver for all the inner frame parts. And for HG kit, it's got a lot of inner frame actually, which makes it look really good in clear because you can see it all under like the really light colored clear parts. There's also, oops, pop that back on. There's also uh, a lighter color clear, there's a few pieces of, there's one in there in the shield and inside where the arms attach to the body. And then you saw that big piece for the Wave Rider mode. Uh, I did a little bit of painting on this kit. Let's see, I painted on the head, see if I can get that in focus, yeah, there, painted the visor red. The uh, Vulcan's silver on the side of the head. I painted on the shins this piston silver that's just gray, the same as the inner frame, that dark gray. I painted that front piston silver. On the beam rifle, painted some gold underneath and then uh, just that silver on the top of the tube and then some silver here. Uh, also the uh, camera on the top of the head. I, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, you can always check out my blog, there's more pictures there. Um, as far as the articulation of this kit, like I said, you can check out some other people's videos covering the articulation fully, but um, it's got some parts that are articulated really well and some parts that are not articulated well at all. Um, the head I've had a lot of trouble with because of the design, like the front lower part, uh, if you want to have it to the side and down and point it down at the same time, it can't really do that. It can go down if it's just facing forward all the way, but you're not going to be able to do that while it's pointed off to the side. And the shoulders, or I guess the upper arm, can only go out about that far, at least I think. The pictures in the manual show it going out farther, and um, but when just before I went to do this review, actually this was the first of these clear kits. This is going to be my fourth video of these HGUC clear kits, but this was actually the first one that I completed. But well, before I went to do the video, um, I was just moving the kit a bit, and the part inside there that holds. Uh, it's kind of the part that connects the torso to the arm. There's like a round piece in there that broke. So I just super glued that and just let it sit for a while. And uh, it seems okay now, but I really don't want to test it too much. And I don't want to test the other one in case that breaks, but I'm pretty sure this is as far as it's going to go because it doesn't bend at all inside there anymore. 
and these this kind of side piece that comes out hits the shoulder armor you can move the uh, I guess uh, I guess that's the oh. <laughs> alright well there you go that's the key uh, you gotta move the shoulder armor up uh, that's kinda silly anyway I don't know why I didn't figure that out before anyway if you move the shoulder armor up and that fits inside of there it's okay and anyway for the lower body the uh, top part here it's just on a ball joint and it, there's no way for it to rotate like like the Jesta so it's really not gonna turn much at all and it's not gonna go out very far so that's kind of a problem but the knees of course because it transforms are double jointed and get a lot of bend there the ankles get a lot of bend the toe comes down really far there's some front armor on here that turns really well um, so the lower the leg is really nicely articulated except just the top part there so it kind of limit it, limits it quite a bit actually um, yeah these wings you saw it pop off before all it is it just goes straight onto this peg so it doesn't really rotate um, forward and back at all it doesn't move side to side at all they're just stuck there of course the wings the individual wings you can move up and down but um, as far as where they're connected to the backpack there's not going to be any movement there at all this whole arm which holds the wings is just a piece just plugs in and the wing just plugs onto it it's not articulated at all so that's kind of too bad but uh, otherwise the kit looks nice um, I've got the master grade of this that I've built but I haven't painted it or anything uh, maybe like two years ago like right when it first came out I think and um, I really like it but I really don't remember it well enough to compare it to this kit but this is nice and I think the clear looks really good on it like the light purple and the dark um, like it's almost like clear blackish blue and then the dark silver all look really good the gun you might notice is a little bit different like maybe like shine to it uh, all the kits sprayed in uh, glossy top coat um, like I've done with all these clear kits uh, because the glossy top coat really makes the clear parts look really crystal and nice um, except for this kit because it was the first one that I did I thought oh I'll do the gun with the flat uh, and then like it'll be a cool contrast to have a flat top coat on the gun with like the shiny body but I actually after I did it I didn't like it so I tried spraying some glossy top coat on the gun but it's still like obviously not going to be as glossy as the rest of the kit. I could have gone in like with just some uh, thinner, taken off as much top coat as I could of the flat stuff, then put more on again. But really, eh, it's okay. I didn't really couldn't be bothered with it. It doesn't look bad. Um, so that's about it. Like I said, you can check out my blog for like full photos of this kit and other kits and. Uh, a lot more stuff to come in my Twitter as well. So, thanks for watching.